Everybody and welcome to another class. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going through the BBC News, looking for various articles that we want to read, and we're also going to be looking at the vocabulary in those articles. This is an intermediate to advanced class. Don't worry if you have a little problems with the reading, I'll help you. All right. So don't be shy when it comes to coming into the class. The good thing is you'll continue to learn more vo vocabulary. You'll be able to read out loud and everything else. Okay. So join in when you get the chance to. Maria! Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm glad you found some time to join my classes. That's good. Yeah. Good, good, good. So let's see. All right. This looks like a full class. Wow. It's like fireworks going off. All right, Igor. What's up, Igor? Hi. How are you? Hey, I'm doing well. Welcome to class, Igor. Always, always good to have you in class. Okay. Hey Eric, welcome back Eric. Welcome, welcome to another class Eric, how are you? Okay, yes maybe not too well. Um, yeah Eric, I can't hear you, I can just see you fixing your hair. If you, can, if you can fix my hair too, actually I'm in need of a haircut. So. Hi. Hey, how are you Eric? What? How are you? You good? Okay. Fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing well. Doing well. Welcome to class. Yeah, Welcome can you to hear class. Me? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. No problem. Okay. Thanks. Maybe. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Caesar. Hello, Caesar. Hello, Mister. How are you? I'm doing well. Doing well. Sounds like you're doing pretty good. But a lot, a lot of moving around. Are you stationary now? Uh, what do you say? Are you are you are you stationary? That means stationary, um, like in one place, you know. So stay stationary. Stationary. You know? Yeah. So that's when you're in one place. You're not moving around. It just sounds like you're you're moving around a lot. But that's fine. Well, welcome okay. to another class. I see, it seems like you really like verbling. So that's good. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. And. Uh, did I say hello to you already, Eager? Did did I hear your your voice? Yes. Okay, good, good. How are you, yeah. Igor? I'm good, thank you. All right, awesome. Welcome, uh, welcome to another class. Jose. Okay. Marina. Okay. Yada. Hello, Brett. Hello, Yada. Okay, I was getting worried. 
thought maybe everybody left. They just left their screens up there, you know. Hey, we're going, teacher. Hello, Yi. Hi, Yi. Hi, Brad. Hello again. So good. So let's see. And Yusuf. Hello, Yusuf. Okay. So for those of you that don't know this, there's this crazy red button. Okay. This red, uh, this red microphone. Let me show you here. Okay. Don't worry. You're not going to look at me the whole class. Okay, so for you, Jose, can you hear me, Jose? Jose, you've been in my classes before. You're from, uh, is it Costa Rica, Jose? No? Okay. So, Jose, Marina. Yeah, hello. And, hey. Hey, Jose, how are you? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm from Venezuela. Ah, Costa Venezuela. Rica. I'm so yeah. sorry. Okay. I figured if I insulted you that you would come on come to class. I'm just kidding. Actually, I, for, I forgot where you're from. My apologies. My apologies. So good. Good. I like yeah, those little lips you have. So good. Welcome to class. Marina? Can you hear me, Marina? And Yusuf. So Yusuf and Marina, you might just need to click this. You might have a red microphone. Okay, so just click that in order to uh, to come there. And yeah, hey, by the way, Jose, can you can you kill the kid? Not literally, but um, this is an expression, just because it freaks some people out. You know, they sit there and they look at the little kid. They try to figure out what's going on. Okay, anyway, <laughs> funny stuff. I I won't I won't disagree uh, with it not being funny. The screen looks daisy or maybe hazy. Okay, maybe hazy. So what we're going to do, and by the way, I have no problem at all if you want to read any sort of news, anything going on in your country, if you want to suggest an article, okay, as long as it's nothing that's too politically charged where, um, where you know, people are going to feel upset if it has anything to do or a little, little too much. Okay, so Igor, good. Thank you, Igor. Uh, two articles, uh, maybe we choose from this uh, if yeah. class uh, agree on uh, uh, yeah. one article from these two. Yeah, no, very, very good. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I've seen the second one. I've seen the second one in another form. Okay, fantastic. Very much. Okay, so good. All right, so there's two different ones that Igor has suggested. All right, this is an advance, but don't worry. One is um, killing off cash. Could new tech, new technology mean the end of money in here? All right, okay. We're trying to figure out ways to, uh, to get rid of the monetary system that we have, new ways to, to uh, pay for things, right? Okay. Is that, is that about right, Igor? You know? With micropayments, yes. people paying with phones and things like that? Yes. Okay. All right. So, Eurozone downturn and deficits to persist, Commission says. So, this is the health of the Eurozone and where it's at. Okay. And don't worry, I'm going to take you all through if there's some advanced uh, vocabulary in here. So, Yi, which one of these would you like to talk about? Killing off of cash or the euros? Well, he's like, I don't want to talk about any of that. <laughs> Yada, how about, how about you? And don't worry, folks. Again, if the vocabulary is a little tough, I'll help. Which, which one do you want, Yada? The killing off of cash or the euros? I, I think the both topics are very interesting. Well, I prefer cash. <laughs> cash, okay. Let's just start out here. I don't want to go around and do a democracy, okay? So let's just start out here with the killing off of cash. And again, there's going to be some difficult words. Don't worry. Uh, Caesar. Hello, Caesar. <clears throat> yeah, hello. Hi. Caesar, can you, can you read for us? Just read a little bit in here, and then we'll talk yeah. about some of the words. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, cash has been taken a bit in lately. Last week, Canada mint in last penny. Eurozone countries are working to rest restrict cash payments. Bitcoin is all the rage. Go ahead. 
payment starts such a square and is zero are on a cash killing mission. While no profit organization, government, the World Bank, small business, multinational co corporation, app developments, hippies, liber libertarians, liberals, right wingers, all had agendas that can be advanced by alternatives to cash and they are all punished to breed them about. Okay, so life. Oh, okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. Good, good, good. Okay, one more student. Oh, so Marina. Hi, Marina. It's okay, Marina. Is this your first time in class, Marina? It's okay, Marina. Is this your first time? Hello, Marina. Welcome, Marina. Is this your first time? Okay. Yeah, so maybe, um, okay, let me just give her this here. So, look at the chart. Okay, we send that to her. And yeah, I couldn't agree more. Like Yada says, uh, very, very good topic, uh, Igor. Very good. Okay, I'm just going to give this to Marina, and we're going to continue on, okay? Not that I don't care, all right? It's just um, I think that her microphone or her headphone, her headphone, I think it's all hosed up, okay? So this is fantastic, right? So restrict, restrict cash payments. What, what do they mean by restrict cash payments? What does that mean? Oh come on, folks! Don't be, don't be worried. Go ahead, Yara. Control, have, have control about the ways to pay in cash. Yep. So restrict them to make them real small. To maybe make, you know, the only time you can pay in cash is if you have to pay for dog food. I don't know, you know. And um, Igor, what is Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin? Hmm. Um. Bitcoin, like, electronic money. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep, yep. So bit, so like you know, you have bits and bytes when it comes to information. So I don't. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Maybe maybe there's a graphic for this. Nope. So let's go back here. Wow, what is wrong with some of the stuff that comes up? So bits and bytes, you know. So bytes, memory, right? So that's what it means. Bits and bytes. Okay, ones and zeros. So that's the um, that's what's going on here, right? Okay, let's slide this in here. Okay, so that's a Bitcoin. So let's continue on here. Okay, so startups. So these are what? These are small companies they're just developing. Okay, and continue on cash killing. So why um, can somebody tell me why they go through this long list of people? Okay. Right. What's what's the point in this writing to do that? Can anybody tell me? What? Why would they write out all these different people? Because maybe uh, they need to work together to yeah, find a way to to change the catch for another type of. Of money or, or something like that. Yep, and then what the point is when they do something like that is you're just saying like everybody is trying to find a way to get rid of money. You know, when you think about it, money is such a, um, such a, uh, you know, it's just, just so much better if you can find a way to put it all in some sort of other system. Okay. Sorry, but the uh, f first uh, sentence, what it means? Canada, Canada, uh, last week Canada minted its last penny. Oh yeah, so minted. So a mint is where they create money. Okay, that's where they that's where they make the mini. Or part. I'm sorry. Um, you know, so the U.S. mint. So that's where they create money. That's where they um, that's where they uh, go in and coins and paper and just boom, they start printing out money. Okay, so that's what a so mint is. So Canada uh, doesn't make money uh, anymore. 
Well, it's last penny. I think that maybe Canada dropped the penny. Okay, so I think maybe Canada, um, you know, no longer. Um, yeah, let's just do it this way. So Canada, yep. So the the penny's days are numbered. It made its final one cent. It's just saying, what's the point in a penny anymore? You know. So its currency is probably lowest one is going to be five cents or five pennies. As oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yep. A good question. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's continue on here. All right. So that's all it's talking about here. It's just everybody. You know, nonprofit organization, governments, the World Bank. Everybody wants to get rid of this. By the way, one of the countries that's actually the farthest advanced when it comes to um, being able to do money electronically is actually Africa. I, I'll, I'll explain that later. I want you all to keep talking, okay? Is Mint right? I'm not sure my screen. Yeah, ye, Mint is right, okay? And then currently. So, yeah, so uh, ye, so currently, that's a. Um, a uh, that's a uh, way to say that now it's happening now, okay? So this is in the current time. It's happening now, all right? Okay, and then let's continue in here. Go ahead, Eric. Can you read the next one here? But like forecasts. Where? Uh, this one here, where it says uh, but, but but like forecasts. Mm -hmm. But like forecasts of flying cars, predictions of cashless future have. A uh, history of failure. This is in part because progress is incremental, and in part because physical money is a time test technology. It's fast, widely accepted, anonymous, and useful for old school budgeting and when the power goes out. Yet, powerful forces are aligning against cash. Together, they provide a glimpse, glimpse of what a cashless or mostly cashless future might look like and illuminate the promise of digital money respective of whether cash is ever kaput or just increasingly marginalized. Okay, so good. This is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful because there's so many great new words in here. I know I, know I sound kind of goofy, but really, as an English uh, learner, just really pay attention, okay? Because we're going to go through something. Some yes, you sure can. Go ahead. Um, I'm also learning German, and I think kaput is like broken. Uh, yeah, kaput, broken, yep, it's gone kaput, you know, or mo no longer exists, you know, also kaput is like, poof, just gone, just absolutely gone, so good, good. But this in the English, this word, or in German, kaput? Uh, I don't know if it's in German, I guess it's in German, but you know how we steal some words from uh, from different languages, and then we use them in slang in different ways as well? Right, oh, okay. so I don't know if kaput if they have a uh, English definition in here or not. I think it may be adapt because kaput is with double T. I think. I think. Well, when we say it's gone kaput, that's usually where we say it's gone kaput. It just blows up. Yep, to cease functioning. So we use it as an idiom in here, right? Cease functioning, and it, it is just ruined. Same thing, you know, and German or origin, right? Okay, so it's gone kaput. Okay. Okay, cash is ever kaput. Finally at an end. All right, very, very good. Very good observation, Eric. Okay, so let's look at some of these words in here. <clears throat> so we know predictions, that's when you try to see the future. All right. Progress is incremental. Incremental means small steps, one by one. Okay, there's incremental. It's kind of like going up a ladder. So if you think about a ladder, okay. okay. You have these incremental steps going up the ladder, okay? These are increments, would be all the parts of the ladder here. Okay. Step and then, by step. Yeah, step by step. You know what? It's actually this, almost like incremental, one by one. It would just be like going up a ladder. Funny. Oh yeah, you're giving an example. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good, Igor. I'm sorry. I thought you were asking about a definition, but yeah, absolutely, absolutely, step by step. Okay. Um, okay. And then time-tested technology. 
Look at these two words. What does that mean, time-tested? It means that uh, money used uh, uh, at very big amount of time. Yep, yep. We know that it works. Time has tested it. We know that money works, all right? We know that many people go broke from it too, which is great. Okay, so widely accepted. That means that everybody knows of it. Okay, and let's go here. Okay, here's, here's where I really want to get. So, yet powerful forces are aligning against cash. So that means when aligning, it's when things come together. All right? It's when things come together, like when the stars align properly, okay, to arrange in a straight line. They're all coming together for one. And here, here are the words that I got excited about in here, okay? So a glimpse. Does anybody know what a glimpse is? Guys, don't don't be afraid. Okay, don't be afraid. All right, Yusuf, what's a glimpse? Do you know? Like a oh, peak? I don't know. Like a small peak? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Jose. What is a glimpse? I don't know. I was say uh, I was uh, saying that I don't know that word. Mm hmm Yep. So here it is. Okay, that's why we're here to learn some new vocabulary, right? So it's like a like a peak almost, right? It's like a slight look, okay? Okay, so provide a glimpse in cashless, okay? All you have to do is just look at this without cash or mostly cashless. Illuminate, okay? The promise of digital money. And let me just use this. I like when... Um, when uh, pictures can show you. So like illuminate, okay? So this is like to illuminate, to show light to, right? To bring light to. So illuminate or show the promise of digital money. All right, and irrespective. Can anybody tell me what irrespective means? Like no matter? Uh, say that again. Like no matter? I'm sorry, say that, I, I, I just, I'm having a hard time hearing those last words, no what? Like, no matter what, or something like that? No matter what? Um, yeah, also, it's, you know, it's out there, yep, no matter what, uh, basically, it doesn't matter, you know, so it doesn't matter here, you know, irrespective, no matter what, no matter if whether cash is ever kaput, or just increasingly marginalized, so good, very good, okay, and marginalized, does anybody know what marginalized means? Poor. Say that again. Something apart. Uh, it's kind of like to, to make it smaller, right? You know, so not as important. So just like some countries, their power is marginalized, you know? Like maybe there, there's parts of Europe you know, where their power is marginalized now, the UK, their power is marginalized, okay? So, um, where you don't have as much importance as you did before. So, either gone, meaning no longer exist, like Eric said, where it's broken, otherwise increasingly marginalized, where it's not as important. Because remember, cash already, you know, regular straight cash just isn't as important as it used to be. You do a lot of this stuff just transferring money through PayPal and different things like that and through credit cards. Okay, so Igor, can you read the next one, please? Faster and cheaper? Yes, faster and cheaper. The battery against cash is coming from three, three fronts. New technologies, skepticism about the steward... How to read this word? Stewardship. Stewardship of sober... How to read this word? Sovereign country or sovereign, sovereign currencies, and increased enthusiasm for alternative currencies, and greater uh, scrutiny about cash. Uh, how to do this word? Um, yeah, about cash's mirad, mirad right. costs. Think anti con. How to do this word? Yeah, and that's that's myriad. I'm sorry, myriad. Married. Yes, okay, so myriad costs. Mm -hmm. Think anti-counterfeiting. Anti-counterfeiting. 
think anti counterfeiting cops uh, and uh, armored how to is this what yep armored armored, armored trucks, trucks. Mm -hmm. bank security tax evasion terrorists using 200 euros uh, euro or 100 dollars notes to buy explosives explosives how to do that correctly um, yeah explosives mm -hmm. Explosives and every cash related crime ever. Digital money innovations, particularly tools, uh, how to use this word? Anch anchored. Anchored. Mm -hmm. anchored, anchored to mobile phones, offer faster and cheaper ways to pay bills, buy and sell goods, send and receive money, and make bank transactions. Go ahead, finish the last one. Yep. Uh, alternative currencies, meanwhile, are moving from the fringe to the center as more and more people worry about the long term value of coin of the realm. Okay, so good, good, good. So, so we'll, we'll go through some of this, but do you think that we could ever get to a one currency society? And what I mean by that is think about it right now, we have the dollar. We have peso in many different forms in many different countries. We have the yen, the RMB, we have the euro. Could it ever get to the point where the world has just one currency? Theoretically, yes, but practically, um, uh, we need uh, uh, many times, or how to, how to say, much time to, to do this. Well, you, you travel to different countries, Igor. Isn't it a pain? To continue to, to uh, switch currency in and out. Oh, but I am not traveled. I want to travel in one country. Ah, okay. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been lucky. I've traveled to so many different countries, and I kid you not, I used to carry a bag. Okay, I used to carry uh, not not a huge bag, but just a small plastic bag, and it would have all different types of currencies. So when I landed in a country, I didn't have to worry about changing currencies right away. Because the airport will hose you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Igor. And then but, I uh, next uh, now you uh, how you have cr a credit card and you can uh, in dollars well money to have and then when you go in another country you uh, um, take money yeah. from cash machine and uh, go and uh, exchange in yens and uh, pounds. I don't know. It, it, it honestly, easy. it honestly is not that easy. Okay because it can be a real pain and also to the fees that you pay in order to change these out and you have to watch because you have to see when the currencies fluctuate you know there's there's really there's a lot more to it especially if you're taking people when in my old job when I used to take people out that would always be a large expense and when you first get in and you have to get an airport taxi in some of the countries they they don't take credit cards in the taxi Right, especially in third world countries, but it it is easier. You're right, Igor. But there still there are some difficulties, you know, involved with that. That's why I'd carry that around. Uh, Eric, go ahead, Eric. What were you gonna say? Uh, the, does it have to do with customs? For example, the metric system. All the world uses the metric system. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, money won't fall into that. I understand what you're saying. But money, money is irrespective of the uh, the metric system, or the old system of measurement. The difference between millimeters and inches, right? Or meters yeah, and inches and all that. Oh, okay. Feet. Yeah, the money money system doesn't really care about that. You know, it's uh, just just money, and it just has to do with what the value is. You know, money fluctuates. Okay, so one time or one at one point. A dollar can be worth, let's say, like 40 pesos, and then a month later, a dollar can be worth 38 pesos. All right. So if you have ten thousand dollars for each one of those dollars, you just lost 20 pesos. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, you you gained. Uh, no, 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 no. You lost 20 pesos, so you just lost 20,000 pesos, right? Because of the fluctuation. Okay. Let's see here. So, wow, there's so many, there's so many words in here. Okay, so battery. So hard words, very hard yeah, and it's, words. Yeah, and it's okay. That's why, you know, we're here, we're here to go through these. So the battery against cash. So battery, 
that's this is used in a sense not like you're charging something, right? Not batteries you put in a flashlight, but batteries as far as you know hitting something, almost like with weapons, things like this. So the battery against cash is coming from three fronts. That means there's three main things, three main fronts. When you talk about war, so this this whole thing here, all right, it's very colorful because it's talking about like war. Because you have a battery, a battery is where you have your weapons, where you have your arsenal that you're fighting against something. And then when people talk about wars, they talk about fighting on multiple fronts. It's like World War II. They had to, Germany had to fight on many different fronts. Okay, so we know what technologies are. Skepticism is where you don't believe in something. Okay, all right, you don't believe in something. I'm skeptical about it. And stewardship, let me just pull it up because I always have a difficult time. Sometimes I have a difficult time just explaining even I know it. Yeah, so like a surrogate, so, you know, it's somebody who's taking care of something. They're responsible, okay? All right? So the stewardship of the sovereign currencies. So sovereign currencies, if you're a sovereign nation, most nations are sovereign. That means you don't belong to another nation. You're independent. And I'm sure that almost all of you live in a sovereign nation, so you have these sovereign currencies, okay? And the increased enthusiasm, so that's when you really want something to happen, everybody's excited for it. Alternative means other, and then greater scrutiny. So when you scrutinize something, that's when you sit there and you look at it and you say, that's not good. You know, somebody's really looking at something and seeing the negative points about that. And Myriad, let's make sure we say this properly. Okay, and this means like many, like many, like multiple, you know, a great or indefinite great number, okay, of things. All right? Okay, so good. We still have some people with us. I know it's a tough topic, but just hang in there, everybody. Okay, so think anti-counterfeiting. So counterfeiting, this is when you print fake money. Okay, you're printing fake money, so you're counterfeiting okay. money. Okay, so there's anti-counterfeiting to take care of that. Um, armored trucks, so this is what they use to transfer the money. Okay, so that's an armored truck. All right, wow, boy, these are really tough armored trucks. Okay, so tax evasion, uh, that's when you don't want to pay your taxes. Okay. Uh, terrorists, we all know what terrorists by now. Uh, mm -hmm. Explosives blow thing up, and every crime related, every related crime ever. So there's a lot of other crimes related to uh, money, like money laundering, uh, different things like that as well. Okay, so all of these bad problems with money, all these people against it, and digital money innovations. So innovations, this is when you're making something. Okay, you're innovating. Apple innovated; they made new products. Something new. new ideas. Yep, something new. It's when you're creating something new, um, particularly tools. This is a great word. This is a great word, okay? Anchored to mobile phones, okay? And an anchor, I'll show you what an anchor is so it'll give you the idea. Okay, let's just see if we can get a good idea here. So, yep. So here's an anchor. So what it's saying is, okay, when you have innovations, particularly tools anchored to mobile phones. Where are the latest innovations, guys? Is it really all on the internet? Or isn't it really going more towards our mobile phones? That's where the new innovations are really going. So ones that are anchored to mobile phones, ones that are um, with mobile phones. Okay, receive money and make bank. So transactions, the, this is when money's going back and forth. When you're either borrowing or otherwise giving, paying, whatever the case. So those are transactions. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so the fringe, so the fringe is great. So the fringe is like the outside. So that's when you're not in with everybody else. You're on the fringe. So it used to be that people that program computers were on the fringe, okay? So the border, okay? So on the outer edge, all right? So now it's going from the fringe to the center as more and more people worry about the long-term value of, 
of coin of the realm. Okay. Okay. Good. Fantastic. Wow. This was it's too bad. Yeah, but it's okay. But but are you learning more, Igor? And am I, am I and I might be going a little faster, but this is you know intermediate to advanced. But it, it's yes, good yes. to learn new words, right? Of yeah. course, it's yeah. very interesting to read uh, such an article. It's a very um, hard article, but if you understand, it's very good for me. Yeah, and by the way, by the way, uh, everybody, of course, classes like this make me work harder, all right? But I really think that you get a big benefit out of this. Of course, it's easy for me just to sit back and go read some, read some uh, nursery rhymes or, or, you know, read this article, okay? But, you know... Please do take these classes because I spend a lot of time on what I think is valuable, which is new vocabulary. And you can always go back and listen to the class again. Anyway, my point is I hope the work is not in vain. Jose Garcia, how are you? Good morning. I am fine. Thank you. Hey, good, 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 good. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good everything, no matter where you're at. So, Jose, are you ready to do some reading? Yes. Go. Okay. Ang 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 about government. Mm -hmm. About government, Curis has traditionalized and people fucking to all. And for many devotees of the shiny stuff, gold remains the one and forever answer. But gold is not value incarnate. It's just another commodity, albeit a historically pivotal and impressionable heavy one. Those who grab that fat yet still distrapped central bank in sweet currents are turning to local and online options. But exchanges and the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. But the most consequential aspect of this monetary revolution is growing recognition that the cost of cash fall disproportionately on the poor. When was the last time you saw a wealthy person patronize a check cashing? service use Western Union of visit a payday lender for an above our transaction I mean okay so good Cash. good good oh no, that's good good very good it's very mm -hmm. difficult no yeah we difficult no problem though okay yeah. no problem all right so let's look in here so angst so this is like this is just when you don't like something okay when you're just kind of frustrated all right about government currencies has traditionally set people flocking to gold okay so you know that in the world we used to live on what was called the gold standard all right so we used to have what's called the gold standard yes. all is related to gold well what used to happen is um, all your money was backed by gold okay so it used to be to where everything was uh, backed by gold. So your country had to have that amount of gold for the currency that you had unless you were borrowing money and in debt to another country. And then what they did is they went to the dollar standard. Okay? And that's what we're on right now. Okay? The world is on the dollar standard. All right? So that's instead of gold, everything's traded on the dollar Okay, which not a lot of people like. Okay, um, yeah, so gold is not value incarnate. Okay, so this is like to bring up again. Okay, so like it's going to be valuable again. Okay, so given body, right? Okay, right, to come, come again, to be in concrete form, like it says. Okay, not value incarnate. It's just like money, it's just another commodity, okay? Just something to be created. Food's a commodity, all these different things, commodities. Uh, we were in a class the other day, Igor, right, where we were talking about commodities, yes. commodities. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Um, albeit a historical pivotal and impressively hefty one. Okay, all right. So what it's talking about is back when we went from the gold standard to the dollar standard, albeit, okay, that means it is a historically pivotal and impressively hefty one when we did that, okay? And it was a big deal before when we used to have everything based on the dollar. Okay, <clears throat> okay, distrust, so not to believe in, who grasp, when you grasp something, you understand it. So if I was to say, do you understand grasp? You could say, yes, I grasp the definition of grasp, which means that you understand, understand. what it means. Mm -hmm. Yep. And issued currencies. Okay, so this is cool. I don't know if any of you have ever seen local currencies. Like in the United States, some people are doing it. So, you know, it's like a barter system where... I give you this money here, and it can only be used in our in our local community, and that way people don't have to worry about using cash, and then they figure out different ways. And this is through barter exchanges as well, all right? But these local currencies are a type of bartering when you look at this, and this cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin. So crypto means that you know you um, you. Uh, you put it so that it can't be seen. All right? Okay? I mean, it's still real. I'm sorry. Let me explain that. So crypto is when you encrypt it. Okay? So when you encrypt it. So that way uh, people can't steal it. And it goes back and forth. Okay. Um, consequential. All right? So consequential. So this is, uh, you know, when you have a consequence meaning when you do something, and because you do something, something is going to happen. So the most consequential aspect or point of this, all right, it's starting to show, recognize, people are seeing the recognition that the cost of cash fall disproportionately on the poor. So proportionately means everybody gets the same amount. Everybody takes the same burden. Everybody's getting the same reward. But disproportionately means that one is um, one is getting more or less than the other. So in this, what's happening is it's starting to show that the poor people are really the ones that are hurting over this whole idea of carrying around cash money. A Western Union, what a Western Union is, this is a place where people go. Okay, I don't know if you have these or worldwide. We have. But, it's a worldwide uh, spread. Yep. Okay, so the Western Union, this place just makes money off of transferring money. I mean, isn't that kind of crazy? And you don't see, I mean, I don't, oh, I'm, not, I'm not saying, I, anyway, uh, I, I don't know what, I don't know how, I mean, I mean, I know how Western Union works, but I don't, you know, I have to use it. I've never had to use like a check cashing service. None of this craziness to where these you, people you, make money. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I have a question. Oh, yeah, one, one second for Igor. Go ahead, Igor. Continue. Uh, I can say how it works. You go uh, in the bank and you um, uh, you want to give uh, to another person from another country money, for example. Mm -hmm. And you go and um, say, I want to transfer to that person, uh, for example, $100. You give uh, $100 in money and uh, um, Pay for this transfer uh, amount, a percent. I don't know how much it's exactly, uh, but uh, you pay and uh, they transfer and uh, that uh, person come to bank and say that I, uh, someone from another country transferred to me this amount of money and give a number, a track mm -hmm. number, and uh, re receive this money. Yep. And you and pay for this transfer. Yeah, do you see how do you see how that's disproportionately, you know, on the people that have as much money? Because like it's saying you don't you don't see a wealthy person patronized, meaning going to a check casting service or Western Union. So what's happening is the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, right? Because the yes. people that don't have as much money have to deal with these systems that make money off of rubbing two pieces of paper together. You mm -hmm. know? So, okay, good, good, and thanks for the explanation. Go ahead, Eric. I was just going to ask if Western Union is a service or just the brand, or both? 
Um, it's, it's a service. Mm -hmm. It's a service like uh, like what um, Igor is talking about. You know, to where you can transfer money. I know I know that much about it, right? So you know where you. So in here, let me show you something here. So okay. So, so, this, so this. it's not a brand. Oh, it's a brand. It's a brand. Yeah, Western Union is a brand. Okay, it's a oh, company. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Way to, uh, send money. And exist uh, another companies like Western Union, for example, MoneyGram. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. uh, it's uh, the same service. You transfer money. I, I received money for from these systems okay. from another people. Okay, good, good. And um, let's see. Let's. Uh, wow, I'm running out of time here. So let's continue on. Hello, Madan. Hi, right. Madan. Yeah, I guess he's kind of gone. Hello, Jose uh, Gregario. Yeah. Jose, yeah, Jose. Can you do me a favor? Can you read here? Cash is expensive. Oh, okay. Okay. Cash. Cash is expensive, not merely because of the risk of being robbed at the at the cash match machine or losing your saving savings to a to a fire. Blood or an abusive spouse. It also it's also expensive because of steep prices paid in time, fees and opportunity costs. For you and for me, those costs are by a by and large nominal. But for the billion of people who subsist on two dollars one twenty eight a day. They are anything but. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Keep, yeah, keep on going. Mm -hmm. Going mobile. Digital tools are already providing millions of people worldwide with the opportunity to avoid cash and avoid it, they do. They are storing value and transacting by way of electronic accounts on their mobile phones. For the first time, people who were trapped in the informal economy can steer, steer clear of usurious local money, money lenders, save precious time and money, and benefit from the basic financial, financial services that you and I take for granted. Mm -hmm. And no? No, no, that's good. That's good. Very good, though. Okay. So, Joe, so, yeah, so, Joe, I don't see where you're at in here, Joe. Okay. okay. Oh, no, there, okay. is that you, Joe? Hello, Joe? Yeah, so, Joe, why are you, you're going by a different name. You're going by Yusuf, Yusuf Hassan. Okay. So, Joe, you can understand why that's confusing, right? So, Joe, you're in. You're in, okay, Joe? Hey, Joe, if you're, yeah, Joe, it's okay. So friends call you Joe, okay, but make sure that your bottom uh, says Joe, okay? It's all right, Yusuf. I'm going to mute you for now just because we're continuing along. Wel welcome to class, Yusuf, okay? Thanks. All right? Yep, just make sure you're not making any noise out there. Okay, so let's talk about this, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm going to speed up just a little bit so we can get through this. By the way, excellent article, Igor. Excellent. Very good. Very so, good. yeah, I know, but it's good though. It's good, you know. So, cash is expensive, not merely, okay, not only because of the risk of being robbed at the cash machine or losing your savings, but also, uh, you know, to a flood or, or abusive spouse. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not not laughing at that. It's talking about a spouse that's spending too much money. Don't. It's not somebody who's beating up somebody. Okay, it's not that bad. It's just kind of weird the way it has in there. Um, so here's other expenses. It's also expensive because of time, right? So the, the time that you spend having to transfer out money. So that's one of the problems, Igor, you know, is transferring money like that right at the beginning when you get into, get into the country. It's insane. It takes so much time. It's better to wait till you can go to another place to transfer money or otherwise just transfer massive amounts of money or fair amounts of money um, at one time. Okay, um, opportunity cost, fees 
an opportunity cost. So what an opportunity cost is, is that what, that's when you can't do something because you have to do something else, all right? So all this time spent dealing with money, the opportunity costs that you have with that, all right? So you lose out. Um, you know, so for us, like for you and me, th these, are, these are by and large, I mean, for the most part, nominal, which is not, not really that big of a deal, okay, to most of mm -hmm. us. But here's where it comes in, okay, and here's when, here's when it really talks about the poor. So the poor it's not really talking about, you know, here, okay, but this is the real poor for the people that unfortunately have to subsist, live on $2 a day, okay, these costs are really high, but you'll find that in Africa, I wonder if it mentions Africa in here, nope, it doesn't, but yeah, but you can see that in Africa, these digital payments, it's, it's the thing they're doing, because most people can't go to a bank to get an account set up, so they're just doing it that way. Okay, let's see who else is here, so, uh, Jan Nowak, hello Jan, welcome to class. Hello, Jan. Hello. Hey, Jan. How are you? Uh, would be better. And you? <laughs> uh, you could you could be better. Okay. All right. No problem. I see you have the Dilbert dog. I'm I'm doing well. I'm always doing well. Things are things are good. So good. Where where are you from, Jan? Uh, I'm from Poland. Okay. Good. Welcome to class. All right. You're kind of towards the end of class, but that's okay. Uh, Yusuf. Hello, Yusuf. Hello, Brad. Hey, can you read here? Going mobile. Starting. Okay. Yeah. Digital. Uh, starting from going mobile, right? Mm -hmm, please. Okay. Digital tools are already providing millions of people worldwide with the opportunity to avoid cash and avoid it. Uh, they do. They are storing value and transacting by way of electronic accounts on their mobile phones. For the first time, people who were trapped in the informal economy can steer clear of serious local moneylenders, save precious time and money, and benefit from the basic financial services that you and I take for granted. And no, looping people into the formal economy is not a clandestine valentine to banks and bankers. The fact is that a bank account online builds person-to-person -person payment, access to credit, insurance, all of these tools for building economic stability depend on money in electronic form. Okay, good, good, good. Very good job of reading. Very good job of reading. Thanks. Okay, and let's see how much we have left here. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's just finish this thing off. Let's see. Hey, um, so Jan, can you read the last of this? Can you read the last part of this here? Okay. Okay. If you don't have that, it's far more difficult to climb permanently out of poverty. The truth is that it doesn't matter all that much uh, whether cash further marginalization, marginalization. Mm -hmm. marginalization ever leads to extinction. 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 extinction, like the dinosaurs, they're extinct. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, what matters far more is the potential for dignity mod money you know, innovations to improve uh, the welfare of some man money. Okay, so good, good, good. And we'll go back and explain this. But, but that's the main part of this article, right? You know? So, wow. Can you, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Good, good. Loud and clear. Yeah. Loud and clear. Roger, over out. Okay, so good. For some reason, the screen, the screen froze for a second. Okay, Roger, Roger. Okay, Dodger, Dodger. So, so yeah, so, so Igor, since you chose this article, why don't you summarize this last part? 
what matters far most, okay? So is this the heart of this? Is this the main thing? Is this, is this the, um, the silver lining that we have? Is, it, is this a nice thing here? Go ahead. They, um, uh, money, uh, uh, <laughs> I can't just summarize. It's okay. It's no, no problem, Igor, no problem. How about you, Eric? You've been paying attention to this whole article. What, uh, what do you think about this last part and summarizing this? I mean, who are the main people that are going to benefit from all this? What's the important thing what about digital they, money? But everything or the mobile license? Uh, yeah, just who is going to benefit the most from these digital payments and who already is? Uh, I can't summarize. That's my problem. Poor people. Poor people. Yep. Open it. Poor, yeah, poor people, but... Yep. Yes. No, it's, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Good. And Eric, sometimes it's the way I ask questions too. Okay. So no problem. No problem. Okay. So yeah, I mean that's that's the main thing here. It doesn't. It's saying it doesn't matter if we ever get rid of cash. You know, physical cash completely. The thing that's great is is that the people um, that are poor. Okay, they're living on two dollars or more a day, or two dollars or, or less a day. Um, that those people, they're able to start doing transactions. It's easier for them, and they don't have to worry so much about their money being stolen and different things like that. But it also talks about what? It talks about the fact that you need traditional banks to get loans and other things so that these people can finally get out of poverty. Is that what it's talking about? Is that it? Yep. Yep. So withhold the information, yeah. Okay, so good, so good. Uh, anything else on this uh, article? Uh, I have a question. For example, if um, a person uh, who is 80, 18 years old will read this article, native speaker person, he will understand uh, this article, he'll read once, only once, and uh, rap um, fast. He will understand the, the all things that is you know written. What? This you know what? I hate to be so see, be so uh, <laughs> uh, be so negative, but you know, a lot of the kids these days wouldn't. When I was growing up, our parents were so strict. Okay, even even though I was um, not in a you know, I wasn't in a poor household. You know, proportionately to to other people, but. Um, you know, we weren't a real rich household, but your parents still, they made you learn how to read and write properly. So to answer your question, I don't know. I don't know if, if eight, the 18-year-olds these days, uh, if, you know, a good proportion of them would be able to read this. And native not, speaker, not I mean. Yeah, no, no, I know what you're saying, native speakers. Yep, like people in the U.S. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So Be because they see here is uh, very many epi epithets and metaphors, uh, comparisons. Metaphors, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, we. It just depends on how how well read the person is, you know. I mean, if they're well read, then hey, no problem, no problem. Okay, but hey, guys, I I have to um I have to get to another class. I have one more.